where are you from and you know how did you get started why are you doing music and you know all that kind of good stuff really that's a deep question of why are you doing this i i you know do you have like three hours (laughs) kind (laughs) of perfect um yeah i'm i'm jessia i'm vancouver based and I just kind of grew up with music. Like my mom's a music teacher and like my dad has been constantly playing guitar around me as as a kid and Mm kind of had like a little like dream of wanting to be on Broadway for a little bit. And then I was like, nah, I think I just want to like stick to just singing and and writing. And I've been writing since I was like 11. And yeah, it's it's kind of just been building up to whatever is happening right now in my life. This crazy dream. Mm-hmm. It's it's a fun it's a fun ride. It's a really really fun time. Absolutely, but like with all the excitement going on around your single, I'm that pretty. Like, is it kind of freaking you out, or are you like are you like ready for it? A little bit of both. I mean, like I'm I. I still need to pinch myself like it's it's not freaking me out in a way of like oh my goodness this is huge it's it's just like oh my goodness this is actually happening like I've been dreaming about this and manifesting this for like Mm -hmm. too long and it's actually like it's happening so it's it's more excitement and just um the fact that I'm able to call myself a songwriter and an artist and do this as a career is like I'm so thankful that's what's up. That's super dope. And I mean, as soon as like everything starts to really wrap up with this pandemic and you can start moving around the more, it's going to get even more exciting. So, you know, you're going to be doing a million interviews. Yeah, million it's going to be crazy. <laughs> and hopefully I, I keep ours entertaining. I saw you on your IG story yesterday uh, talking about snacks and, you know, I'm the snack king. You feel me? Ooh. Like. Give me some. <laughs> I, I seen some of those people were giving. I think it was one like a, a cut bell pepper with like cream cheese. And I was like, okay, that's pretty fire. That's that's like a TikTok thing, apparently, for everyone. <laughs> oh, I'm, totally. I'm, I'm real basic though. I like hot Cheetos, you know, I'm all about the hot Cheeto lifestyle. Ooh, My fingers, okay. You might cast me with red fingers on a day, even though I'm a grown adult. Uh, you know, and I'm mainly a chips and salsa kind of person. That's that's where I go. I'm you not like really... the scoops, like the scooped chips. It just makes it so handy. It, it's it definitely makes it easier. But then you know you got to find the scoops with flavor because just a regular bland Frito. I don't know, have your breath smelling all funny and stuff like that, and that's never a good thing. You know what I mean? Oh, totally. Oh, I love it. It's so real. It's so real. So, what kind of snacks do you have at home right now? Like what, 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 what's in your snack closet? Yeah. Right now I've been like crushing the baby bell game, dude. I just like, I can't get enough of baby bells. I don't know why, but like, they're like the perfect little, <laughs> little like snack, you know, you mm-hmm. you grab one you're good. Um, also like, um, those, those like little cheese goldfish crackers. I think I'm oh, just yeah. like on a cheese kick, which is crazy. Mm-hmm. I, I guess that's, that's like my comfort food is dairy. Yeah. So yeah. Having like, Ooh, I just tried the, the, um, the flavor explosion that were nacho flavored of the goldfish. Okay. okay. Ooh. Ooh, that's another level, dude. It's so good. It's so good. I've had, I've had a lot of experience with goldfish, you know, I, I, I have, I have a daughter. So like she, she, she loves, Loves goldfish, and that's been a fixture in her life for a very long time. Those so Bay Bell cheeses, too, fire. You don't realize that that little piece of cheese, that little thing is going to make you feel so much better afterwards. It does. It totally does. Yeah, it's just like a little, like, round piece of happiness. <laughs> I, I love how we're talking about cheese right now. This is great. <laughs> exactly, exactly. It's great. So, uh, it. Have you been, like, in the studio working on more music? I know I'm Not Pretty is, like, you know, at this point where it's starting to blow up and everything, but have you still been working on more stuff? Oh, yeah, dude. It, as soon as, like, I'm Not Pretty got released, I was like, okay, it's time to, like, write as many songs as you possibly mm-hmm. can. And so, um, yeah, I'm in the studio with Elijah Woods right now, not currently, but, um, yeah, we're, we're writing, writing some cool stuff, and we're kind of, like, developing the Jessia sound because I mean Mm -hmm. this this rise to so much success and everything has happened so fast that like I'm like oh my goodness I need to still figure out who I am as an artist and um yeah it's been really really cool we're we're trying to do like a very organic approach to to the album where like we're taking drums but we're making the drums be 
like banging pots and pans together and like dropping keys on a countertop and just having like very household items. It's like the most quarantine album ever. Like, yeah, facts. <laughs> just like, you know, do with what you got. But it's it's super fun to just like discover new, really strange sounds. And it all sounds like pop music, but it's a nice little Easter egg for like, when you actually listen, you're like, oh, that's like a deck of cards or whatever. It's really yeah. cool. Yeah, that's awesome. I'm looking for, are there any of those sounds in I'm Not Pretty that I haven't caught or is that, is that different? Um, I'm not pretty was done in a distance and written okay. in 48 hours. So we had, we weren't able to like really build off of each other in, in like the room. It's such a different dynamic when you're like in the room with the writer, but mm -hmm. the fact I just like sent him the vocals from Vancouver and he lives in Ottawa. So it was very much just like, this is great. You're, you're killing it. I love it. So, um, yeah, there's, but he always has like little little tidbits and little Easter eggs in all of his music. It's so cool. He's got so that's cool. awesome. That's He's really awesome. Now the message behind "I'm Not Pretty." Get into that. What in, what encouraged you to do that? Honestly, I was just having like a trash day, and like mm -hmm. <laughs> I was just feeling bitter about myself, and just like you know, you have those days where you just don't feel like a million bucks, and. Um, yeah, I just felt like I, I wanted to, to just write about this. And honestly, like I wrote the song on January 1st and then I posted the video on January 1st and it was just what you saw of like the hook. And then mm -hmm. it started blowing up and then Elijah Woods hopped on this and I was like, oh my God, like I need to write the rest of this song. <laughs> so writing the verses was a lot of like anxiety and panic attacks of like, can I say this? Can I talk about like eating mm -hmm. disorders and, and not wanting to be called pretty as like just like a band-aid thing to to yeah. fix the way that you think about yourself so um yeah it's it was a wild a wild time but we got through and here's i'm not pretty Ooh, right <laughs> any song that refers to someone's belly i'm like yes, yes. <laughs> i love it i love it I'm so excited. much that's awesome so do you plan on possibly releasing an album this year or is that something that you want to focus on into 2022 more likely i'm hoping that we can get an album out this year i can't mm -hmm. make any promises course, but yeah. like let's just all cross our fingers that this will happen yeah there we go perfect just send it out just manifest it dude let's do it <laughs> right who are some of your uh favorite artists that you listened to growing up some people that you take inspiration from not necessarily necessarily mimic their style but like people who you've listened to that's on your playlist right now on my playlist right now, mm -hmm. um, I mean, a lot of Conan Gray, a lot of Jeremy Zucker. I mean, Julia, Julia Michaels has been with me since, since Issues was released. I was like, who is this gem of a human? Um, <laughs> I mean, if you go back to, to who, like my OG people, it would be definitely a mix of like Jesse J and Sia. And I grew up on like the Britney Spears and the Hilary Duff and the Christina Aguilera's. So kind of like put those all in a big mixing pot and then you kind of got it. Ooh, also another huge one, Haley Williams. She, okay. I remember like rocking out as a teenager to Paramore and just wanting to be her. <laughs> Have you had a chance to meet any of these artists, including the people that are on your playlist right now? Like Conan, he's hella sweet. I met him before. Julia is the nicest person. Um, I haven't met any of them yet. I'm so jealous that you've gotten to meet them. I'm like, no, but I mean, it's, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that this one, this happens, but yeah. And the, again, just fingers crossed to get to meet these people. This is all the interview is gonna be, it's just like fingers crossed. <laughs> That's awesome. That's what's up. Well, I, I really, I really enjoyed talking to you. You got a lot of, uh, like a great spirit to you. So I think that's really awesome. And I think that, you know, a lot of good things are going to continue to come to you. The song is awesome. Get a lot of requests for it. A lot of people like it. I like it because it refers to your belly. You feel me? Yes. All that kind of <laughs> stuff. And uh, yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to meeting you in person after this entire stuff is over. I'm actually getting my first vaccine shot later today. Yeah, you are. Yes, yeah. boy. That's amazing. Yeah. Congrats. Had to do yes. it. Had to do it. Had to do it. Now, Very I have cool. a question for you before we, before I have a question for you before we wrap everything up. Uh, is it as nice as everyone says when, when I'm referring to Canada? Like, is everyone out there just hella nice to each other? We're, we're pretty nice. We're pretty okay. nice. I mean, I mean, we're polite, but I mean, like, 
you know, you can't be nice all the time. Like maybe behind closed doors, we, we talk some real, some real stuff, but um, <laughs> we don't want the rest of the world to know that. So we'll just keep okay. that hush. It's, a, it's nice. a Canadian secret. I got you for sure. Yeah. 